Hey guys, my name is Sanjiraj. In this video, we are going to be making a tutorial on the Open Weather Map API. And this is going to be based for the beginners. If you guys are really good uh, at JavaScript, you guys may also enjoy watching the video. But this is basically uh, based of for uh, beginners. So, Open Weather Map API. So, if we type in a city, if I click on submit gonna give me the data pulled from the API so the name the temperature and the description so it's gonna be basically based for beginners if you guys have any coding friends anyone who's starting off make sure to share this video with them uh, so let's get started so here we have index.html app.js and a style.css zoom in a little bit mm. So we have we have all three folders and I have a basic boilerplate. I have linked the style.css and also the app.js. Once that's done, uh, I need an input form. So I'm gonna make a debit class of input and I need an input form with a type of text. So that's what we need. Text is text is the city. I'm also gonna give it a class of input value and after that we need input with a type of submit which is a button um, value is a value that is going to go inside the button so after the input we want to uh, make a uh, deal with a class of um, sorry dis display so this is where we're going to be displaying the main content it may not be more css based but what we want is just to charge so it's one with a class of name because we want the name to come inside this this particular text and for that i want a p tag paragraph tag with a class of desk which is description and i also want a p with a class of temp which is temperature mm and that's it we're not gonna start the display anyway only the input so just basic styling I'm gonna say margin 0 so we're gonna remove all the margin from the sides that is uh, uh, Google normally has uh, normal browsers have basic styling for all the tags so we're gonna re remove all of them once that's done I'm gonna give a font family you guys can use any font family you want so I'm gonna use a font family called Nonito uh, once that's done I wanna style the input um, what I wanna do for the input is uh, I wanna say text align center ah I didn't open that that in the live server so if you open that in the live, so I'm actually using Chrome extension, uh, Visual Studio Code extensions. So it's actually good. You guys can go to this section right there and download them. Um, so for the input with the type of text. So this is what we get. So if you wanna get specific stuff, you guys can get it through that. So input with the type of text what I wanna do is uh, height about 50 pixels and width around 600 pixels and the background I wanna give is a hex code e7 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 and the font family is the same um, because it does not normally apply and the font weight is bold font weight in the sense the size of the font so the font size want it to be quite around 20 pixels so if you take a look that's how we should look uh, so we want to remove the border and also want to make it a little bit rounded the corners so i'm gonna say two pixels uh, that looks nice so the input we want to take it a lot more down the way we do that is around 100 pixels in the top and bottom 0 for the left and right that's good also we want to add a placeholder which I forgot placeholder is what is displayed inside the input 
enter sorry enter c key um, we want to style the submit button it's going to be pretty much the same thing but we are gonna um, we are actually gonna adjust the width because we don't want it to be so big so i'm just gonna put 100 pixels uh the input with the type of submit because we have a submit button there we also want some padding from this side because it's sticking sticking to the sides so padding from the top we need 10 pixels and from the sides we need 10 pixels so yeah so actually for the uh, display we want to put basic styling the display I'm gonna just put text align center and that's it and I'm gonna grab everything now let's move to the JS JavaScript I'm gonna grab the input the submit and everything right here mm, so first I need the button which is uh, document dot query select now if you're really new to JavaScript uh, if you want a JavaScript based tutorial like a full crash course or something I really recommend you guys leave a comment down below if you guys are looking forward uh, want to learn like that so of that button um, did I give it a class or anything so class I'm gonna give it a button um, so dot button uh, after that uh, we need the input value which is gonna be the class itself and after that we wanna grab the h1s and the p's p tags and the word name equals document dot query selector this is how we grab stuff from the dom which is document object model is HTML this is how we take stuff from HTML to JavaScript so the class of name and we're gonna have a couple of them uh, we have the name so we have the name and description and the temperature uh, I'm gonna change the class names and we have taken everything so the, now we are going to start with the javascript so first we are going to use fetch uh, so we put fetch and we put a brackets now we want to put the url inside so the way we get the url is uh, this this is the open with the map api so you should first sign in so if i log out this is what you're going to be greeted with so if you click on sign in and sign up you see it's easy so it's pretty straightforward i'll say so if I click on submit, it will actually take you to this page. So you should click on API keys and you should have this API key on. But before that, I want to go to the API section right here. And we want the current weather data. But there are also other APIs like Hubble forecast and stuff. So I'm going to go to the API documentation. No, I'm going to go to the guide. So in the guide, it's basically a good documentation. They give you an insight of what you should have. So here I got the link, got the link to what you need. But if you go to the API section, you have only this part, only this. So I'm gonna grab this link and adjust it with our API key. So fetch, and I'm gonna put that link inside. So for the queue, this is where the city comes in. So queue is the city. So question mark, and they get the city using the link so london uk so let me just show you the result of how they give uh, the um, response so this is how it looks q equals london so we want to get the input value the person who's typing we want to get the value so i'm going to increment it with the uh, input value dot value meaning the input value is the tag and the value is the type of text that is inputted uh, onto the input part. So uh, now I want to get the API key. Mm, 
this is my API key you guys also will be greeted with the API key this won't be available for you only for me so we have put down that API that's done with the fetch link that should be working after that it returns two promises promises in the sense two responses so then we want to get first it gives a response so basically it says it's working and with the response what we want to do is we want to it's a uh, json format so we want to say response.json make sure you don't put the colon because this is a full function i would say we need another promise uh, if you are not familiar with form, uh, promises, I'll actually leave a link to a video in the description uh, which teaches, teaches you about promises. So next is the data. So what we want to do with the data. Data is the uh, stuff that we get from the API. So with the data, we want to console.log the data for now. By the way, if if this is an error, if this doesn't work, we want to do something so that's a function called dot catch so it catches the error with the error what we want to do is uh, alert the user saying wrong we we'll always do that wrong city name so this won't actually work because this is just getting the API with no um, anything so I'm just gonna copy this we want to make sure this happens when we click on the button so button dot add event listener so event listener is any event so we import or any click so we want to listen for a click on click we want to run a simple function so this is how we make a function so inside this function we want to paste in there and that's pretty much it let's uh, open up our console and if i type new york if i click on submit it's gonna give us the data so it actually worked in our first attempt itself it's really good um so here we got the name we got the country us message sunrise and here we got a weather array we got a zero object in it and here we have our main stuff so this is how we are gonna get it get the stuff uh, from our uh, DOM so if you see if I put some random one uh, if I click on submit it should uh, it should alert us but that's fine mm, yeah you guys can set it up too so after that I want to say the name dot inner um, in a HTML equal uh, wait mm, we want to get the data so name value equals the I'm sorry should we should get it through the data I'm sorry so in the data we don't want to console log the data but we want to return a function and we want to do a function when the data is passed on so the way we do it we pass in that curly braces inside that I want to say var name value equals data and it's it's called name and the temperature is um, if you see um, well, it's in the main object so data main and temperature so it's an array so that's how we get it temperature value because we also have a temperature over there uh, description value equals data weather and the zeroth object and we want to get the this description after that the name dot um, what's the problem here the class of name name and uh, 
should work. So name dot inner HTML. I'm sorry. In HTML, I want to give name value. After that, I want to say temp dot inner HTML equals the temperature value, and also the description dot in HTML equals the description value. So it's just pretty, pretty easy. But this was just a basic um, tutorial for beginners. So if we save that and take a look. I say New York again. You want to get that overcast clouds and 293 temperature and all those kind of stuff. That's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. This was a kind of a beginner based tutorial, so I actually wanted to make it. If you guys found this helpful, I really hope you guys actually found it helpful. Uh, if you guys are new, I really want you guys to subscribe to my channel and also comment and share this video. Whatever you guys can do is really, really fine. But if you watched until the end of the video, it really makes my day. I'm so happy. Uh, it will really mean a lot if you actually click on the like and also share this video. And if you got anything helpful through this video, then make sure to do anything for a like. I mean... Uh, comment or like or subscribe anything you guys can do is pretty well thank you so much and i'll have the github link in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one peace